What's the po oh. Easter is coming. Are you excited? This is a set that I wanted to open up for some time. It's got a bunny in it. It's got another bunny in it. It's a good set. I love Ever After High. I will do an Ever After High collection. I'm in the process of organizing my stuff. The shelves would look so much better if I took them to the ceiling. In the last place I lived, I did customize the shelves so that they did go right to the ceiling. And they look so much better when I do that. But it's just another project. I barely have enough time to do my reviews. I've wanted to open up this for a long time. I've never held an Alistair or bunny in my hand before. I think that's a true statement. Here's the box. Apparently they're on some kind of carnival Easter date or whatnot. I don't know. It says, I'm sure, back there somewhere. I really like his hair in this artwork, and Bunny looks really cute. That's a really great picture. I hope there's stands. It'll make the review that much better. So oh, there's no stands in this pack. Should have known. I guess it's one of the later two packs forever after high. I feel confident. I feel like I'm going to do more bulk reviews. I've got some good Ever After High sets coming up. I'm gonna be opening up the Sugar Coated series in one opening, and I'm going to be opening up Through the Woods, and these should be coming up quite soon. I guess I'll call it an Ever After High Easter Marathon. Such a huge fan of Ever After High artwork. I always want to save this, but I have so many toys that I can't, but look how beautiful that is. The Ever After High boy body is such a great sculpt. His ankles are quite loose, but he does stand on his own. Why do they always do that with their hair? It is completely solid. Why wouldn't they just make it plastic? What's the point of making it real hair? Those ears look so good. Cute little necklace. She's got painted on gloves. You can remove her cuffs if you like. And there's a Ferris wheel on her dress and some triangles on the top part. Look at those cute little bunny shoes. Look at the ears and the tails and the ruffles at the top. Those are adorable. It's a very nylon dress at the bottom. She's the shorter doll, so <laughs> She's really small compared to Alistair. His hair is also solid as a rock, but he looks pretty cool. This one has smaller eyes, but I do like how he looks. This is a onesie. Suspenders, bow tie, everything is attached. Best physique ever for a doll. He looks better than Ken. I wish these were separates. It just Velcros up the back. The suspenders are only on the front side. They attach at the top of the shirt. I really like the material that these shorts are made out of. It's really nice. And this is a solid hard plastic necktie, but it's like a button, so it's sewed down. And his shoes are pretty nice too. Boy, Ever After High dolls have ankle articulation. And these guys come with two accessories. There's Bunny's cotton candy bouquet. Guess that's what that is. Maybe it's real flowers. It's really heavy. It's so heavy that her wrist can't hold up its weight. Don't get it on your dress. And then there's this really cute bunny. I think it is designed to wear kind of like a bracelet. That looks cute. I really like this outfit. There was a time I would wear that. I haven't worn a bow tie in quite a while. I don't really dress up anymore. I mostly just wear sweats. But I do have a lot of bow ties. I love how short she is. She's so cute. I like her pink skin too. I'd love to hear what you think of her and let me know if you're excited to see more Ever After High reviews. Gotta make sure that his arm is in a gentlemanly position. And he's got a pretty big head. Very romantic, no? Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Get into the light a little bit more. They're adorable. I don't know what she's doing with her arms, but it's weird. She sure likes to block out his light. I think it's her. It might be her ears. Cute. They're cute.